Hey, this is David. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the lower convection fan motor on your Samsung range. If you've been experiencing uneven cooking, strange noises coming from your oven, or the fan not spinning, then it's time to take a look at this part. Before we dive in, take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see all the repair guides you need to fix the appliances in your home. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today, we'll need a multimeter, a 9mm or 3.8 socket and ratchet, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Make sure to unplug your range or turn off the breaker before working on it. If the motor is rattling or making a racket, then it's pretty obvious that it needs to be replaced. Don't squirt a bunch of WD-40 on it since that's not going to help at all. If the motor isn't running, we can check to see if it's getting voltage. Now pull the range out and remove the Phillips head screws from the back panel. Find the lower fan motor. Since the range needs to be plugged in and powered on for this test, please be very careful to protect yourself from electric shock, which has the potential to cause serious injuries. Don't ever test the voltage if you're uncomfortable using a multimeter. We're going to plug the range back in or turn the breaker back on at this point. Next, set your multimeter to volts AC. Then set the range to convection bake on the console and make sure the oven door is closed. We're going to put one lead on one terminal and the other lead on the other terminal of the lower motor. Don't remove the wires. You should get a reading of 120 volts AC. If the voltage is there, then the motor is bad and needs to be replaced. If you don't get 120 volts there, then the control board isn't sending voltage to the motor. If the wiring looks good, you'll need to replace the control board. If you're not comfortable with testing live voltage, we have another way for you to test. You can ohm out the motor using your multimeter. The range needs to be unplugged or the breaker turned off. Then we can remove the wire connector. Now set your meter to resistance mode and use the leads to check from one terminal to the other. You should get a reading of about 20 to 30 ohms. If the reading is out of this range, then you'll need to replace the motor. If you found out that your lower convection fan is faulty, let's replace it together. To change out the lower convection fan motor, we need to make sure the range is unplugged or the breaker is turned off. Remove the oven door by opening the door to a flat position and pulling out the door catch clips like so. Lift up and out to remove the door. Remove the oven racks. This will help you get to the back of the oven a lot easier. We need to remove the two screws that hold the fan cover. Then take the 9mm socket and ratchet and hold the fan blade to keep it from turning. Turn the nut to the right and remove the fan blade. Be careful not to bend the blades as you do this. Now go to the back of the range, find the lower motor, then remove the wire connector and the three screws holding it in. You should now be able to pull the motor out. Here's the old motor and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at AppliancePartsPros.com. Now we're going to mount the new motor and attach it with three screws. Then attach the wire connector and install the rear panel. Once that's done, go to the front of the oven and mount the fan blade and nut. The nut will tighten to the left. Then turn the fan by hand to make sure the blades aren't bent or rubbing the oven liner. After that, we can install the fan cover and put the racks back in and install the door. Make sure to push the hinge clips back up into the cabinet. Then open and close the door to check that it's opening and closing correctly. Don't forget to plug the range back in or flip the circuit breaker back on. You made it. Great job. And we hope you got your Samsung range working again, but you're not done yet. I want to know how the process went. 
drop a comment below to share your thoughts. And if you still need a new lower convection fan motor, just head over to AppliancePartsPros.com with your model number. Your new part should be at your door in just a few days. Thanks for stopping by today, and we'll be right here if you need any more help with your appliances. Have a good day.